Hi, I'm Chris with Fish Buzz TV. I'm going to show you a simple bait fish pattern I like to tie for dock light snook, uh, snook on the beach. You can use it for redfish, trout, tarpon even. It's a great pattern, very simple. It just requires one type of fiber. It's the EP ultra wide five inch uh, brush. This is what it looks like. And basically, we're going to start, we have our thread on the back of the shank of the hook, wrapped it in a few times, and now we're gonna attach the fiber, like so. And then, I'm gonna run the line further up the shank of the hook, and do a half hitch, just to close it off, to stop it from spinning. Bring over my bobbin holder, and now I'm just gonna spin this around the, the hook shank. Very simple. One. You just keep brushing it back as you go. It's going to look very hairy and messy at first, but as you keep working on it, it'll start taking shape. What I like to use is this Velcro piece. Uh, it's just a piece of regular Velcro. It's the, the hard tacky part of the Velcro. And I brush the fibers back. As you wrap it forward, make sure the fibers are laid back towards the, the bend of the hook. And just keep wrapping it, picking it out as you go along. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our thread and just finish it off. We're going to move this off the thread along the way. Basically, you just want to tie it off, wrap it, give it a few, like five or six wraps, and then we're going to trim off the rest of the brush. Just trim it nice and close to the hook shank, it doesn't matter, you'll be covering that up anyways with thread. So now you're just going to create a nice cone head. And I like to use a whip finishing tool to finish my fly. It's great. It, you can build up heads. This you really don't want to build up the head too much. We're going to do about five or six turns. Finish it. Snip the excess. So that's what it's starting to look like right now. Now we're going to take our scissors and just brush it out and make sure it's brushed out nicely. So it's sitting evenly. And now, we're going to take our scissors and we're just going to All right. So now we trimmed it nice and thin. Give it more of the bait fish profile. Now I like to use these 3.5, these are size 4. Just put a little dab, turn it sideways, the vice sideways, and just where you want your eye to go. A little dab, add the eye. Like that. And then just dab the other side and place an eye there. it sticks. It just it's just to hold the eyes in place for the epoxy. I like to use this UV not sense. It's by Loon. Uh, you can find many different types of UV uh, curing curing epoxy. It's my favorite. It's just easy and just to finish heads like this. So we're gonna put it in between the eyes. Just drop a, a dab. And now, basically, it's just going to hold those eyes on. And you set the light over it, and I mean, you just have to play with it. It might take 10 seconds to cure. It just depends how much UV not sense you put in. But uh, so we do that, and then I like to do the underside also. Just another dab, and 
hit it with the light. That's basically what it is right there.